I don't know about you guys, but I'm in the mood to laugh. This next guy is going to do just that for you. He's eh, basically just going to embarrass himself in front of everybody here. This is John Abrahamson. <laughs> How's everyone tonight? Yeah. yeah. How about Jericho, man? That was that was fantastic. I'll give it up one more time for him. Come on. Yeah. There it is. I just held myself from embarrassing myself in front of you guys tonight. <sighs> Nothing I'm used to it. High school can be embarrassing, can it? Especially nowadays with like YouTube and Facebook and all these internet sites that will broadcast every human error to millions of people. That's amazing. Well, I've had my share of embarrassments, but you know, luckily most of them haven't been in front of a camera lens. You know, running was really embarrassing for me. You know, in PE, I hated running. I could do the sports, I could do the games, but I couldn't run. And you have to run the mile when you're in PE. I hated the mile. You know it's going to be a bad experience when you run the mile, when you're out of breath before you make it to the starting line. You know what I'm talking about? Just, <sighs> give me, can, can I get a minute, please? <sighs> On your marks. No. Oh, God. God. Oh, God. Oh. But, you know, uh, but the run starts, and you, about, you get about 10 minutes into it, and, you know, most of the kids have finished, they've regained their breath, they're ready for the next thing to start, and uh, I'm still coughing up their dust in the corner, and I'm just waiting for it, I'm like, oh, God, just, just let it be over. But, uh, the, mile, uh, the mile is terrible, man. And do you know that a uh, fat kid that was in, oh, I'm sorry, let's be politically correct, that uh, unathletic fat kid that was in the back <laughs> that was like he's just he's just sweat he's running over children ruining picnics because his own sweat has blinded him to the point that he doesn't know where he's going you know that kid that kid that his neck sweat line and his armpit sweat line merge into one like huge upper torso mass of sweat and it's like a waterfall do you know do you know that kid that kid passed me that's how bad i was so. it was awful <laughs> but, you know, high school has those embarrassing moments, man. You know, and this is more of a, a guy thing. Voice cracks? There is no recovery from a voice crack. There is no way. I didn't even know they existed until it happened to me. But, you know, voice cracks will occur in two different settings. There is, you know, with your friends, and that can go either way, depending on what kind of friends you have. You know, you have the friends that be like, oh, voice crack, whatever. But I have the kind of friends that will call you on it. Always. No matter what. They will, you know, They'll call you on it, and they'll, they'll make fun of you. You, know, you guys up for some halo? <laughs> and you'll see them. Just... <laughs> and that's the noise we made if somebody cracked their voice. That, that alerted all of the other friends that a voice crack has just occurred, and it is now time to make fun of him. Like, they could be doing their own thing on the other side of the room, and they'll, and they'll notice, and they'll, they'll hear the hoo. They'll be over here. Like, They'll respond to it. But yeah, there's that. And you could have been talking about anything. The conversation could have been going anywhere. You could have been, you know, talking about, oh, let's go to the movies. Let's play some video games. Let's, you know, figure out this perpetual motion thing. It doesn't matter. It's that conversation is shot. It's gone. Gone forever. There's no way that it's ever going to come back. Unless you make fun of yourself first. I'm like, you guys are for some halo. <laughs> halo? I'm like, ah, we can't do it. No. But that's, uh, that's the first, the first setting. Uh, second setting is the classroom setting. You know, if you're in front of people, and again, that can go either way, depending on whether or not they hear you. you know, maybe you're in English or something. Shakespeare had two distinctive kind of plays. He had comedies and tragedies. You can tell the two because the tragedy wasn't a tragedy, it was a comedy. That's how you could tell. And that's, that's the best way to do it, is continue as if nothing happened. But some kids won't do that. They'll try and redeem themselves after the voice crack, and they'll lower their voice after it. No, no, you can't do that. Like maybe the guys in history or something. You know, Hitler's winter invasion of Russia reminded a lot of people of Napoleon's patriotic war failure of 1812. <laughs> no, you cannot get away with that. But there's there's one other kind of kid I like to talk. About. It's it's the kid that he's so nervous, he's so anxious, he's sweating bullets. He's to the like no, he's he will continue to crack his voice. He can't recover from it. Like, like, if he's on the debate team or something, and he's in front of a whole bunch of kids, like, uh, my argument against your statement, <laughs> my rebuttal, <laughs> I 
I don't really, I can't. My argument against your statement is that, damn it! God. But, you know, high school has those embarrassing moments. And you gotta learn to deal with them. They're gonna happen. And it's how you choose to deal with them that defines you. You, you can't let the moments themselves define you, or you'll never make it out of here alive. But that's all I have for you guys. Thank you very much.